And then what about a patient like this who is 73, he's been on long-term proton, proton pump inhibitors and SSRI medications for depression and, and reflux, and he had implants many years ago. His crowns have continuously loosened and come off, and now he actually has the rest of his dentition that is failing. And so how are we going to treat a patient like this, and are we going to consider utilizing these implants that have already been in for quite some time? And, you know, the answer is... I think if we don't have objective measurements, it's a little bit difficult to tell. So the plan was to go in and evaluate his implants and, uh, and then really deliver him a full arch prosthesis with new implants. And if the, uh, if the existing implants were not in good shape, then those would be removed. And, you know, certainly these are the types of patients that we're going to start seeing more and more, the ones that have already had implant therapy and now are in their next phase because maybe they had implants in their 40s or 50s and now they're in their 70s or 80s and what are we going to do moving forward? Now, I think that if you look at this, you can probably say, well, I don't know that I need the ISQ measurements to tell me that these implants are not in good shape. And obviously, the answer to that is, is that's correct. We, you know, we didn't even measure these because we could see that, you know, the amount of bone loss was pretty significant. And so these implants were removed. We replaced um, with, we extracted the remaining teeth placed new implants, multi-unit abutments, and um, went on to give him a uh, provisional prosthesis. And so as we start to think about more and more patients like this that we're going to see, we're going to really need to have some objective measurements to um, evaluate the existing implants that they already have in place.